Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can use Sweet Alert for delayed confirmation in Laravel. So this is super simple, let me just show you the demo first. So here you can see you have the delete button and if we click on the delete button, it is showing us a warning sign and it is written over here, are you sure to delete this, you won't be able to revert this delete. And if you click cancel, it will not delete anything and it will only delete the data when you click on this OK button. Okay. So right now I'm going to show you everything step by step how we can make this. So first of all, let me just go back to my code where I just have this table and the delete button. So here I'll just directly go to the show post dot plate dot PHP. So over here, if I just go down, uh, here you can see you have the delete button over here. So the delete button is basically this one and in order to add sweet alert for this button, what we need to do is that first of all, we need to uh, get the sweet alert cdn link and we need to add that sweet alert cdn link at the top of our code in, inside the head section so let's go to our browser first and here we are going to search sweet alert cdn link and then we will just go to the first link over here here you can see cdnjs.com sweet alert libraries if we just click over here and you will see something like this and here you can see a tag option the middle on if you just click over here it will be copied so i'll give this link in the description so, so that you can just directly come to this page and just copy the sweet alert cdn from here so after you copy this we need to go back to our code and we'll paste it in this show underscore post dot blade dot php in the head section we'll just paste it over here so after this we'll just go down to the delete button and we need to modify some code over here so here you can see on click return confirm are you sure to delete this this is just a normal javascript confirmation for delete we'll just remove this and here we'll just say over here on click we'll say confirmation then to first bracket over here and inside this first bracket we're going to mention event so right now we'll write some javascript code for this confirmation event so basically we'll click a function for confirmation so we'll just directly go down and at the end of the body tag we're going to say here script then inside the script we'll mention the function name which is function confirmation and after this we'll give to first bracket then we'll mention ev then to second bracket so here you can see confirmation this confirmation is basically this one and this event is this one so basically whenever someone click on this delete button it will automatically call this function so inside this function we are going to say ev dot first of all we need to prevent default prevent default means it will at the beginning will stop the button from deleting our data so after this we will declare a variable we will say bar let's say url to redirect equal to here inside this url to redirect we are going to store the href here we can see we have a href route over here we are going to store this route data inside this variable so how we can do it we need to server here ev dot current target dot get attribute then to first bracket to single quotation and inside it we will say href so once we say href over here it will automatically store this route here you can see href it will automatically store this route in this variable so after this we are going to mention the sweet alert function so we need to say over here hwal then we will give to first bracket then to second bracket so let me just write it like this so here first we are going to mention title the title will be the confirmation message like are you sure to delay this something like this that we just saw previously at the beginning of this video so we will say here are you sure to delete this you can say basically anything over here so after this we need to give a comma word here let's just remove the question mark i think this will look better so after title we'll also have some text in the pop-up option so here we are going to say you won't be able to revert this delete then we will again give a comma and after this we'll say icon so what is this icon for icon is for warning since this is a delete message so we need to show a warning icon so you can also skip the icon that's fine as well so after this we need to have a buttons for ok or like confirmation the delete or cancel the delete so here button it will be true so we do not give any 
double quotation over here we will say button will be true and we will also have danger mode it will be true as well since this is a delete so we will have danger mode true so this will be the sweet alert message so what if we cancel or ok so we need to add a condition for it so here after this we will say over here dot then we will give a first bracket then we will give again another first bracket ok so inside this first bracket we will say we will cancel so let me just keep this like this here we need to give to second bracket for this then function so here uh, for this then we need to give a semicolon over here do not forget to give a semicolon so we can just write it like this i think this will uh, look better or easier to understand for you to read so here uh, this second first bracket is for this one okay so after this uh, if there is a cancel we'll say over here if will cancel and before we write anything uh, i just made a mistake over here we need to give a equal and is greater than sign over here like this okay so right now everything is okay so if there is will cancel we'll say here window dot location dot href equal to we are going to uh, have this variable you can see so let me just copy this and paste it over here and one more thing we are going to we need to do is that we need to uh, have our console uh, have this url redirect so we need to say over here we'll say console dot log to first bracket and we'll mention this url to redirect so right now everything is ready so i'll also give this code in the first comment so that you can just directly copy this code from there so basically this is all for creating the sweet alert message pop-up so right now let's save this and let's go back to our browser let's just refresh over here and right now if you click the delete option here you can see are you sure to delete this here you can see this warning sign is the icon this is the title this is the text and here you can see the buttons so right now if we click cancel nothing will happen but if we now click ok here you can see it reloaded and the data is deleted successfully so i hope you understand how you can add sweet alert delete confirmation in laravel so thank you very much for watching if you want more tutorial like this make sure to subscribe to this channel i would like also really appreciate if you subscribe thanks again for watching i will see you in the future tutorial